Take two. Okay, hi, this is Lisa again, and I'm back with another video. Today is going to be a post um, birthday haul. So it's just going to be either items I received as gifts or just things I um, acquired um, post birthday uh, in terms of shopping. So I turned 35 um, this year, in which you know, I feel like it's a milestone year, but every year that you reach a birthday, it is a milestone. But it's just something about significant about the birthdays that end in zeros or five. So, um, yeah, I'm five years away from 40, so I better make sure I make it count. So, um, for my birthday, I celebrated by um, having six events um, or just six things that I was at throughout the course of the weekend. I ran in a 5K I had a pre-birthday get a uh, celebration. I um, had a you know participate in fellowship with my church. Um, went to church service. Had a birthday party at a lounge, and I also went out um, for lunch, in which it was um, a hibachi, hibachi style um, lunch. So it was overall a good weekend. Would I do a series of events again? Probably not. I think from here on now until I reach the big 4-0, I'm just going to do, you know, something small like maybe dinner or have a small gathering of friends over to the house. Because when you put on productions, it's a lot of work. And if you don't get the outcome that you anticipated in, you, you know, you tend to be slightly disappointed and then... When it's, you know, weddings, other people's birthdays, baby showers, and all this other stuff going on, it, it tends to add up and it'd be like, oh, okay. So, nevertheless, as I said in my other video, I am still celebrating. I plan to celebrate um, all the way up until I come back from Vegas. Um, so, I have another week to go, um, week and some days to go. So, I'm definitely... Um, was two weeks. Yeah, Thursday made two weeks. So I'm two weeks away from the trip, but I can't wait. Um, I'm excited to get away in, for the hustle and bustle. But nevertheless, this video is highlighting things I either um, got as gifts or attained as um, shopping post-birthday. So um, the things I cannot show is monetary. Um, I got um, people gave me um, money, uh, which I think that's no problem for a birthday gift. Um, so what I decided to do, I put a small significant amount in my pocket, just like pocket change. And what I decided to do, since I was already saving and collecting money up for my Vegas trip, I decided to take the bulk of that money and use it towards Vegas. Uh, I was already like taking um, portions without my um, paychecks and putting it towards my trip. But, you know, the generous amount that I receive amongst a, a collaborative group of people, I was able to meet my um, goal on the amount of money that I wanted to take to Vegas. So I'm going to eat and drink. And I'm not really a gambler, but I just have a small set amount each day that if I do decide to gamble, I will gamble with. Um, shot. And just enjoy the trip. I think you enjoy your travel so much more when you have everything arranged. Like our hotel is paid for already. Um, the flight is taken care of. So we get there. We don't have to do anything financial but eat, drink, and be merry. So that's, uh, I like those type of trips. Instead of you get there, okay, we got to pay for the room. Okay, we got to pay for this. So I'm definitely excited about that. So thank you to everybody who gave monetary donations. Um, I will definitely think about you when I'm in Vegas. Um, I got a couple of gift cards. Uh, one of the gift cards I received was a Starbucks gift card for my co-worker. So I just added it on to my um, gold card and transferred the amount over into my current uh, status of my Starbucks card. And I will be drinking Starbucks. Thank you to the co-worker. The next, um, the next um, gift, I, gift card I got was a Macy's gift card, and that was from um, a good friend of mine. And when I got it, I said, okay, I can go get some MAC makeup. I can look and see if there's some Michael Kors or Coach or somebody's shoes. And then I thought about it. I was like, uh, maybe, maybe, just maybe, I should get something different. Because I've been looking to get a different comforter, bed in the bag set. And it was just by, by coincidence that Macy's had sent the sales paper and they was having like a, a, 
you know, um, they call it special sale or unbelievable sale when stuff get lowered amounts. So this is what I end up getting. Uh-oh, I'm about to break something. Um, an eight-piece um, bed in a bag set. And I wanted different colors because everything I got is like blue, brown, gray. Um, just, you know, dark and gloomy color colors. So I wanted something a little bright. And since it's no, like we're going into... Well, we're not going to. It is fall, heavy winter. I just wanted something a little, you know, a little color, you know, and that was not, it was okay, not too summerish. Uh, so I got this um, eight piece, and this is a queen size. They had king as well as twin size. Um, that um, eight piece bedding set was originally a hundred dollars, and they had it marked down for. Um, $37.99. And the lady said that's that was the saleswoman said that's a great deal because often when those do go on sale, they only drop down to like $59.99. So that was the special sale. So I had my gift card. I was able to attain that and we're good. But um I still had MAC um lipstick and eyeshadow left, so it was like, well, I don't need the makeup and you know, I'd rather I believe in you know getting stuff that you need um, and stuff that you will use. And I know you will always use sheets in the comforter set. So um, thank you to my friend for that. Um, the next gift I got was from my mom and dad, and it was from Pandora. I am a Pandora girl now. Uh, I have always seen people with the brand Pandora um, braces, um, bracelets, and necklaces and rings and um, this is the um, box it came in but I was told that you need to keep it to preserve it in the bag so um, um, that's what I'm keeping it in so I got a bracelet from my mom and dad and this is how it looks so it has Pandora right there let me pull it back so you can see Pandora and then that's the little symbol and here's what mom did. Mom went ahead and had the sale where you spend $100 or more or whatever you get the charm. So this is the charm that's actually from Pandora. So that's the silver one. It's actually from Pandora along with the two clips. But the rest of these are from Kohl's. So my mom said she just didn't want it to look skimpy, so she went to Kohl's and um, had got some other um, charms to put on it um, for now. But she was saying, you know, as you go along, you can, you know, start taking these off when you add your own. Um, so I think it's cute like this, but I think I do eventually want it to be all silver pieces on here. Uh, you can always swap out. So, um... I do plan to ask for or try to get myself, if I don't get it, um, a couple of charms. And I'm planning, I don't want to like fill it all the way up. I just want to keep like a few pieces, but I want to make it, you know, charms that are significant to me. So like one charm um, I definitely want to get is, um, a, a, I saw a Pandora charm that's the Bible, just because, you know, I'm into church and I love God and I pray and you know, I seek him for my strength and my purpose in life. So I feel like I want something that represents God. So I know there's a charm, like a Bible charm um, they have available. Um, or another option, there's a cross. But I think the Bible um, the Bible charm would be um, better. And then I'm into purses, of course. So I wanted a charm that was, um, they had like a handbag charm. They got like a Pandora shopping bag. But they also got the pan, like a, a purse-like charm, so I think I want to get that. And then I don't know if I want the final charm to be, because um, I think I only want to get maybe four additional charms. I think I want one to be a birthday um, birthday one, and then I don't know if I want to get some with the initials or some of not. But I'll work on it slowly but surely, but I think definitely um, for my grab bags, I will be asking for a Pandora um you know, charm or gift card if I can go get something. But there are two um, charms that I sh for sure want to get. And maybe the fourth one, uh, the third one, maybe there'll be um, 
my birthstone or something. We'll see as it goes along, but it came in um, this nice little gift box. So, you know, my parents, they, they're starting to do that one hitter quick type things. We just get you one nice thing and be done. But my parents does so much for me. My dad is always helping me out, fixing my car. Um, he saves me money because I just simply have to get purchase the tools and he's, he's retired. Um, so all I really do is purchase the tools and I save money on the manual, you know, get being charged for the manual label. So my parents, you know, even though my brother and I are out their house, they still look out for us. They still do significant things, uh, for us. And that's pretty much it. So... So yeah, sorry, let me check this text message because this is from somebody who's, um, you know, yeah. So anyway, so yeah, so that's, that's what they got me. So my mom says she may give me either the gift card or she might purchase one of them charms. I might get my birthday. Hold on one second. Hello? Hey, I'm at home. Uh, probably not to after seven. Okay. Okay. All right. That's okay. No problem. Right. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, okay then. Bye bye. Okay. Sorry about that. I didn't stop the tape, but we gonna keep rolling on anyway. So, anyway, what we left the Pandora. My mom said she might give me the gift card. She might give me the charm. Okay. So, um, the next, um, birthday gifts, uh, was from one of my, um, it's, um, my god brother and his wife. Um, they actually got married on my actual birthday six years ago. Um, so I would never forget their wedding anniversary, um, because they got married on my birthday. So, um. I know his wife did this. He didn't do it, but she gave me like uh, four bottles of wine, and then she gave me some um, some of these Diva um, glasses. There's four of them, but I'm you know since they're repeat, I'm just gonna show you two. Um, so she gave me these little cute glasses. So this one say, "Girls just wanna have fun um, with the shopping," and she know I'm, yeah all that little good stuff. And then the second one. Uh, was head over heels if shoe fits by it in every color so yeah so I just thought those was cute sometimes it's not even about the amount of money spent sometimes it's just about the presentation and it was just so hooked up and cute and nice and and it was just it was just wine that you get from the store you know it was just the wine it was the glasses and the way she had it set up in the bag and the presentation it was really nice so sometimes you don't have to spend a lot of money um, to create um, some gift of significance. Sometimes it's just the way how you set it up or the way how you um, create it. So next, um, this goes along the line of um, um, the neck what I just got. So I love this bag. And if somebody has a birthday, don't be surprised if you see this bag because um, me and my friends who believe in recycling bags and this is from um, one of my brother's friends and they gave me some copper cup set um, it's really um, it's Moscow the Moscow mule mug um, and it has the recipe on here to show you how to make a, Mos a Moscow mule he said they said just in case you steal your brother's cups but I don't go down to my brother's apartment and steal anything it's just you know if I'm ran out of some I ask him do he have it but these how the cups look and then also they have um the tag on them and it shows you the recipe on the back of how to make the Moscow mule 
So, um, the recipe, I don't know if I'm going to make that or not because it tastes okay. I'm not saying I'm a big fan, but here, yeah, nevertheless, you can keep your drink cold um, in these cups. So, that was that. So now I guess I'm moving into more hauls like stuff. So stuff I attained post birthday on my own. So right now Carson's have their Goodwill sale going on in which you can use it for mostly anything besides I think it's yellow and black dot um, and value white. But this is a good time for you to use your um, Goodwill coupons on like cosmetics on uh, fragrance um, as well as um, you know name brand items like Michael Kors, Coach, um, Dooney and Burke and all that good stuff in between. So with that um, we was out at um, Carson's and then I end up I want um, you see my Michael Kors you might see my Michael Kors flats I love the hell out of them shoes not saying that the name just make them better, but they're just so comfortable, and I just love wearing them to death. So I said, I wouldn't mind getting another pair of those shoes. And I had gotten them for a good price because the original price on them is $99. And my mom's like, I just don't believe in paying $99 for some flats. I don't care what name. But the first pair I got, I got them doing the um, Goodwill sale, and I end up getting another pair. So I got these, and I wore them yesterday, so I got another pair of Michael Kors Signature Flats, and these are blue and white. I think we're at that point now that the white after Labor Day, I think that's kind of out the window. I mean, and considering this got a lot of blue in it, um, it still can work for um, fall. So with jeans and stuff, um, I would say, you know, the blue outweights i mean they probably still i won't say for winter but i think these are still some good right now for fall um so these are originally um 99 dollars um what happens they got marked down to 73.99 and then they had an extra percentage off originally which brought them down to 60 dollars and then she went ahead and I said, well, I'm not sure. Can I use the um, the Goodwill? She said, of course, yes, you can. So she marked, uh, she scanned the Goodwill coupon. I think it's like, what, 20, 25% off. And they brought it down from $60. And it was $45.72. Um, and that includes the tax. So I'm like, wow, yes, we're not going to let these shoes stay there. They had a ton. And I said, um, it must be the color. Because they had like eight or nine pairs on the uh, in the clearance room of Carson's in the um you know on the rack, so I'm assuming they probably just trying to get rid of those. So that's another pair of Michael Kors I got uh, for half over from that's yeah that's about half that is half the price. So yeah, I'm second pair and I have not paid a hundred dollar over a hundred dollars yet. So awesome. And one more thing, I went to Kohl's. Um. I was looking to get a book bag, not only for school and gym, and I wanted one of these girly girl book bags, so um, this is a book bag I got for school, gym, and when I don't want to carry a purse. Um, so this is by Can the company Candies, and this book bag was originally um, $60. They had it marked down for $12.00. And then I had a coupon which brought it down to $9 from Kohl's. Uh, one thing, Kohl's do let you multiple coupon. So I got this nice book bag for 9 bucks, And it just snaps here. I thought that you had to unhook these, but you don't. They uh, snap. Awesome. Snap. Awesome. So, yeah. Nice backpack. Um, I can carry books and stuff or might use this for a flight or travel or whatever, but that's nice. And then, um, Kohl's is also known for selling, um, really started picking up on, on name brands like uh, Juicy Couture and um, Vera Wayne. So I'm really getting into um, the purse charms now. So I saw this. Um, which is like the fur ball, and I got a pink fur ball. I got that from 
um, the Yvette Allen collection on Instagram. So I said I wouldn't mind getting another fur ball. So I saw this. I saw it in pink and I said, oh, I should get it. And I was like, no, I got a pink fur ball. So I went ahead and got it in black. And um, this is the fur ball. It, it has another charm on it with the Juicy Couture symbol. Uh, and it says, this is not a toy. I hope, I hope they, um, yeah. So I got that. Um, it says it's lim part of limited, um, limited um, edition. So I plan to use that on one of my bags. It even can go nicely on this book bag, right? So I uh, plan to use it on my bag. This was originally $16. I believe it was on sale for 12 It was the same thing. I got that for like nine bucks. And then I got a Juicy Couture um, bracelet. It's like two bracelets with charms on them. Um, and this was marked down to $6. Um, I had um, that coupon made it cheaper. Um, I can tell you, I got the numbers here. Mm -hmm. I was telling y'all wrong stuff. So I got the book bag for $8.40. I got the charm for $8.40. And then I got the jewelry for $4.20. Um, and then last but not least, I was in Ross and they had these, um, Michael, um, Kors, Michael Kors gloves. I already have a hat and a scarf with this print. So it was like, let me just get the gloves so I can have a whole set for this winter. These, um, gloves are originally $42. $42 with the Michael Kors set up. I mean, it's according to price to Michael Kors. According to Ross, $9.99. So you got to love Ross because they know how to, you know, wheel and deal. So, you know, a lot of people always being Ross. Ross is always crowded. Um, so I am a fan of Ross. But that is it for now. I think that's it. Stay tuned. I'm definitely going to work on that coach video. It's coming. I know I just got to pull everything out and look and see what I have. To create the collection video. So that's it. That's all. Peace.